Well, hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna be doing a requested video from one of you guys. I wanna say that someone sent me a DM on Instagram asking to see this video and I was like, you know what? That's a really good video. I don't know if I've actually seen this video on the internet just yet, but you know what? We're doing it today. So the request was to show my pen collection. And I'm gonna take it a step further, and I am going to actually test all of these pens on some Erin Condren paper. I am currently just using a notebook. It is the Tate Note notebook in the dot grid. The paper is the same as the planners currently, so I figured, let's do this thing. But first, let's talk about what I store my pens in. Currently, I have them in this, I don't know, it's kind of like a it's kind of like a cosmetics case, but I actually got this in the purse section of Target, and it is by Mossimo. And these are all of my what I like to call neutral pens. So, all of my black and blue pens are in here. I believe I actually have a white pen also, and I will test that as well. I know you're thinking white paper, how are you gonna do that? I got a plan guys, I got a plan. So um, all of my colorful ones are also stored somewhere else. So if you guys wanna see that video after this one, let me know like down below in the comments if you wanna see that. There's probably not as much variety in the colorful pens, but there's more variety in here. But let me know if you guys wanna see it. If you do, I'll do it. If you don't, it's all right. So. First thing I gotta do is organize all of these because there's a lot of duplicates and I'm gonna organize by color. So I'm gonna do blue and then I'm gonna do black as well. So let's get this thing organized. So these are all of the amazing things I have. However, I did find these, and this is a Pilot G205, but it's a pencil. And then also I have this Uniball Signo in the white, and I will be testing these as well. So I'll do blue first, then black, and then I'll do these too. But it isn't an Emily video unless we wanna make shiz pretty you know what i'm saying so i am going to use some washi um this is just some floral washi from my shop link is below i will actually link as many of these pens and markers and things like that down in the description below if i can find them all right so we will do that and then i found this sticker sheet from aaron condren i'm not sure how i'm gonna use it let's maybe like, I don't know, let's put this little sticker up here. Make it look cute. And then I will put in, ooh, there's so many options. Oh, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna use this one. It's like my tried and true. And I will put in pen collection. I don't know why I put that there, but I just thought it would look cute, okay? All right. So let me speed this footage up a little bit for y'all because this is gonna be a little tedious and kinda boring, but let's do this thing. So I have done all the blue and I am gonna test out this um, white marker right here, but I am gonna do it on one of these bigger stickers so you guys can see it a little bit better. All right, so there it is. Let's put that in here. Oh, I kind of smeared it. Oh well. Well, I screwed up there too, so whatever. So in the blue, I have Papermate Ink Joy. Um, that's this one here. It's like an actual, just like regular pen. Like it's just a regular ball pen. So it's Papermate Ink Joy. It's 700 RT and then 1.0 is what it says on the side. I also have the Jelly Roll in two different colors. I find that the darker navy one is like more satisfying to write with. That's just me personally. 
I also have a Pilot G2 in the 1.0. I was distracted because my cell phone went off and I was like misspelling Pilot. I'm like, wait a second, I missed the L and the O. Whoopsie dopes. Um, and then the Papermate Inkjoy gel pen. I have the 07 and the 05. I prefer the 07 for sure. Papermate Flare, one of my favorites. The EC, this is the Erin Condren dual tip marker and then it has a fine and a medium point. So love both of those. The Stabilo, Stabilo, I don't know. It's this one right here in the 0 0.4. Very satisfying to write with. Um, the Micron, I, I know I've said this several times. I do not like the Microns at all. They're just like too tiny of a tip for me. I don't know, I just don't like it. Uh, the Le Pen also has a very same tip, but it gives a, it has a little give, so I really like writing with that. The Pilot Ultra Fine Point Permanent, which is what I wrote with on this. Love that. And the Sharpie Fine Point, which is this big boy right here. And then I have my pencil and then the Uniball Signo in white. So on the back side, we can kind of see the quality here. Let's zoom in just a little bit. And um, really the only ones that kind of shadow for me, I mean, I'm lifting this up so you guys might be able to see a little bit more, um, is this one here my fave, and then, um, which is the Pilot Ultra Fine Point Permanent, that's the one, and then clearly this one comes out too, but I don't really mind that. All the rest of them have a little bit of shadowing, but if I put this down, you don't see it as much. Um, the only other one that I could maybe gripe about just a little bit is the um, Erin Condren Medium, but I am kind of like heavy-handed with stuff, so, you know, whatevs, but, um, but yeah, the rest of them look great, but I don't really mind the way that this one looks, to be honest, the one that's right here. But I don't know, certain things bother me and other things really don't bother me. So let's get into the black pen testing. All right, and those are all my black pens. So I started out with a Pilot G2 05. I gotta say the 07s is where it's at or larger of a tip. I actually prefer the 1.0 to be honest if I'm gonna write with a Pilot, but I tend to smear them unfortunately. So I use mainly, um, if I'm gonna use a like regular ink pen. Uh, I like this gel pen and it is the Paper Mate Ink Joy gel pen in the 07. Uh, the 05s, it's just not my jam. I like a broader tipped pen. Also, I have a jelly roll, which is awesome to write with, a Sharpie pen, a Paper Mate Flare, the EC dual tip markers in the fine and medium. And that's this bad boy right here. Um, the Stabilo, which is this one here, very nice to write with. The Le Pen, very nice to write with. So I have two in the black. So these are like the Micro Perm and the Micron. Uh, the Micron, I don't like, we all know that. But the Micro Perm, I found this in my arsenal of things in my black bag here. And this one's actually not that horrible to write with. I actually am all right with this one. And then we have the Pilot Ultra Fine Point Permanent, which is totally my jam. And then the Sharpie Ultra Fine Point. For some reason, I can't find my Sharpie marker that's like this in the black currently. I don't know where it is. Hmm, whatever. Um, so anyway, if we look on the opposite side, we can kind of see a whole bunch of shadowing here, but if I lay it down, really the micro perm, this one that I actually like, <laughs> this one is shadowing a little bit right here. And then as always, um, like the Sharpie fine point, which is this last one here, and then also the pilot one, which is right here, this really long one, that one comes out as well. So that's gonna be it for me today. Clearly, I have way too many pens and markers. If you have a favorite pen or marker, let me know in the comments down below. I'd be very curious to know what you guys like. Like I said before, I will try to link all of the different sources of the different pens and markers that I used in this video down below for you guys. And if you have any other video suggestions, feel free to put them in the comments below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe if you wanna be part of the FDE family. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys. Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school.